Creators love Kit, and honestly, so do we. It's super easy to use, has excellent monetization features, and crushes it at launching newsletters. Oh, and that generous replan, huge win. In this video, we'll walk through how to build a subscriber landing page and how to create and send a newsletter, even if you're totally new to marketing. First, let's make sure you're all set up. If you haven't already, hit the link in the description below to create a free kit account. Just enter your name, email, password, and you're in. Kit will ask you a few questions to tailor the tool to your specific needs. We're setting this up for a photography newsletter, so I'll pop those details in here. You'll also pick your main goal, but don't stress about it too much because regardless of what you choose, you'll still get access to all the tools. Now you'll be taken to your dashboard and see you're on a 14-day trial. Now, this is super important. Before your time's up, message Kit's team and ask them to switch you to the newsletter plan. It's completely free, supports up to 10,000 subscribers, and gives you unlimited emails, landing pages, and forms. It's pretty incredible. You can request it by clicking this drop-down menu in the top right, choosing Help, then selecting the Send Us a Message option. You can type something like, I'd like to switch to the newsletter plan. Kit makes it super easy to get started. Right away, it prompts you to add subscribers. So let's go ahead and click that. If you already have an email marketing list, go ahead and choose the first option to import it. But let's assume you're starting from scratch. Click Create Landing Page. Straight away, Kit guides us through every step in building that landing page. Landing pages are great for collecting newsletter signups, especially if you don't have a website yet. You can simply link them from your social media profiles and you're good to go, no code required. As you can see, Kit offers tons of templates, so let's filter by newsletter. Find one that fits your brand. Pierce is one of my faves. Now let's use Kit's editor to customize our landing page. It is super intuitive. Just click on any element to modify it, like this heading, and type to change the text. To change an image, click on it and hit Replace on the right. You can upload your own images or, quick tip, pull them from Unsplash or Instagram. Kit also lets you change the background, fonts, and colors by clicking General Styles and playing around with the settings there. Just note, Kit's templates are pretty rigid, so you can't switch up the layout too much. Want to add a new form field like first name? Click on the plus icon, then go to the right here and change the custom field to first name. You can also drag and drop to change the order of the fields. Now, before your page is finished, we need to take care of two very important things. The first is double opt-in email. It will be on by default, so you'll want to decide whether you want to send subscribers an incentive email to ask them to confirm their subscriptions. Go to Settings, then Incentive to edit or disable it. Double opt-in can help reduce spam and is required in some countries. But if it's not legally required, there are pros and cons to consider. If you want to know more, I've dropped a link to our double opt-in guide below. The second thing to do, of course, is to hit publish. You'll automatically get a shareable link for your socials, bio, website, and wherever. Ta-da! You now have a cool new way to capture subscribers and are one step closer to sending your newsletter. Okay, let's jump forward a few weeks and imagine that your landing page has collected some subscribers. It's now time to send our very first newsletter. Click Send at the top, then Broadcast, which is what Kit calls a newsletter or email campaign. Click New Broadcast, then pick a template. I'm going to go with Story here. The editor here works just like the landing page editor. It's all visual, so just click on anything you want to change. Plus, you also get some extra flexibility. You can add new content blocks like headings, buttons, or products by simply hovering over the email and clicking the plus icon. Have fun with the design here. Colors, fonts, images, and make it match your brand. And of course, add in that great newsletter content to keep your readers on. Stuck on a subject line? Click this icon here, and Kit's AI will suggest one based on your email. I mean, it doesn't get much easier than that. Once you're happy, click Preview to see how it shows up on desktop and mobile. Send yourself a test email, then go back to the editor and hit Continue. All right, now let's get this thing sent. Your from email address will be pre-filled to the one you use to sign up. 
If you want to keep it, you just have to verify it. So click on the confirmation email you received from Kit when you first signed up if you haven't already. Want to use a different email address or custom domain? Go to Settings, then click Email on the left. OK, back to our newsletter. By default, Kit will send the newsletter to all your subscribers, but you can add filters if you want to narrow down your audience. For example, click Subscribe to to choose only those who filled in a specific form, received an email sequence, have a tag, or purchased a product. Our list is still on the small side, so let's keep it simple for now and send to all. Next, choose your send time. You can either choose to send your email now or schedule it for later. Let's leave it at send now. Oh, pro tip, to boost your open rate, go to Advanced Options and select Add Preview Text. This is that little extra bit of text that displays in inboxes after the subject line and provides context, or something juicy, to pique your subscribers' interest. We actually have a handy review tool on our site linked below if you want to check that out. So internal notes are optional. They're for your eyes only and can help you stay organized. Finally, you have the option to publish to web, which means your newsletter will be public on your creator profile. It's totally up to you if you want to do this, so we'll leave it blank for now. You can always change this later. No worries. All right, we're almost there. Hit Continue, review the details, and make any corrections if needed. But if it's all good, hit that Send Broadcast button. And that's it. Your newsletter is out into the world, or should we say into your subscribers' inboxes, because hopefully that's where your email landed. If you actually want to see how it performed, head back to Broadcasts and click on the email. Here, you can see open, click through, and bounce rates. You can also choose to make your newsletter public. All right, you're all done with your first newsletter, but this is only the beginning. Kit offers clever automation, tagging, and monetization features that let you sell newsletter subscriptions and digital products, even on the free plan. So want tutorials on how to do that or anything else, really? Let us know in the comments below and check out our website for more detailed guides on running your very own newsletter. Thanks for watching, guys.